By the end of this video, you will be able to add triplets as well as other tuplets to the music that you're creating in MuseScore 4. Let's get started. So I've got a piece of music that I'm working on in MuseScore. And in order to add a triplet, what you're going to want to do is be in selector mode. To turn on selector mode, make sure you're not in note input mode. So note input mode is this small pencil on the top left hand side of your screen. When it's blue, you're in note input mode. When it's not blue, you're in selector mode. So now that I'm in selector mode, I'm going to select the pulse that I would like to add this tuplet. I would like to add a tuplet to the third beat of this first measure. So what I need to do is select that rest. I'd like to turn that to a quarter rest. So I'm going to click on quarter note. So now I'm going to put a triplet over one pulse. So now that I have the rest selected, I can go up to add tuplets, and then I'm going to click on triplet. So now it added a triplet over that one pulse. And you can see I can add notes to this. If I go back to note input mode, you could also press N on your keyboard to toggle note put, uh, input mode on and off. So I can now add notes. And so now I have a triplet. To undo anything, you can press Control Z. So I'm going to go back here. If your goal is to transition from a MuseScore novice to a MuseScore virtuoso, you are in luck. My MuseScore 4 masterclass is now available for presale. This complete course is packed full of comprehensive tutorials that would teach you the skills to notate sheet music as well as create stunning audio seamlessly and effortlessly. Click the link in the description to reserve your spot today. And let's say I would like to add a triplet over two pulses. So what I need to do is be in selector mode and I need to have the half note selected here on the top left. So I'm going to click on that. So now I have a half note. So now we'll place the triplet over two pulses. And now if I go back up to add tuplets, I'm click, I will click on triplet. And now I have a triplet over two pulses. So you can see a quarter pulse for every note. So again, if I go back to in note input mode, I can now add my notes to the triplet over two pulses. You can also add other tuplets to your piece. And in order to access the other tuplets, I'm going to do this over, let's say, two pulses. So let's go back to this measure here. I'm going to go click the rest. And then I just want that one. There we go. So now I've got over two pulses. I'm going to add a tuplet over those two pulses. I go up to add. And when I go to tuplets, you can see there are other options as well. So let's say I would like a septuplet. So seven pulses on two over two beats. So I'm going to click on that. The shortcut for that is control seven. And you can see I added that septuplet. And now I can add my notes. I'm going to go back to note input mode and then just add my notes. I can add any kind of note. I just need to toggle between quarter notes or eighth notes, whatever I'd like to use within the septuplet. And then now I've got my septuplet in the piece that I'm working on. If you would like to create your own tuplet, what you can do is go up to add. Let me have this selected for the pulse that I want. So I'm going to go to this quarter note and then let's go up to add and tuplets. And now I'm going to click on other. So this will bring up the tuplet creation dialog box and I can input what I would like to put for this tuplet. So I've got a ratio here. So three to two. Let's do a three to one, and then I can add however many I would like. And let's actually do like 12. <laughs> so that sounds good. You can do this by number, ratio, or none. I'm going to do this by number, so 12 over one, so 12 pulses within one beat. I can have the bracket selections here. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to press OK. And so you can see it added a 12 or uh, 12 uh, pulses in one beat. So I. I don't even know what I would call that, but um, there's a dozen dozen pulses there in that one beat. So it's pretty cool. So that's how you can create any kind of tuplet you would like within the pieces you're working on in MuseScore. And lastly, if you'd like to delete anything that you have done, you will just select it when you're in note input mode. Don't be in note input mode, be in selector mode. And then press delete on your keyboard. So I can press delete on any of those things. I can also delete the entire measure like that. So you now know how to add triplets as well as other tuplets to the music that you're creating in MuseScore 4. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely are also interested in how to add measure numbers to your music. I have another video that covers this in detail, and I will put a link to it here.